Well, good morning, people. Um, okay, last night. No, I wouldn't even say last night. I said this morning. Okay, I don't even know why I did it, but I did it. Um, so I was I was on uh, offer up. I was talking to a a car audio installation guy. I don't. I was talking to a car audio installation shop guy and um we were talking about you know the install and stuff and he was like um okay what do you have and i was like okay well i got you know i got a double din radio you know pretty basic stuff i got a double din radio and i need my amp kit wires ran i was like how much would you charge for that and the dude was like he didn't want to give me it i already knew that he wasn't gonna give me a a price by the way he just like started he started avoiding the the you know the estimate he started avoiding it so i was like okay i don't think he's gonna give me um i don't think he's gonna give me a price because he started shooting the shit so i'm like okay cool we're shooting the shit he was like okay send me pictures of what you have so i sent him pictures of the stereo and i sent him pictures of the amp kit he was like okay okay all right what about the subs what about your amp what about when they, when he started asking all that, I already knew it was a problem because like I literally asked, I said, how much to install my stereo and my amp kit wires? Okay, just the, the stereo and the amp kit wires, okay? How much would you charge to do that? And he was like, Okay, send me pictures of what you have. Um, what about your your subs? What kind of subs are they? What kind of amp? And then like he looked at the uh, the picture of the the amp kit that I sent him, and he was like, "That's uh, that's overkill. You don't need zero gauge." And you know, telling me like what I need and shit. I already know what I need, man. I done done this like a thousand times already. I done already had you know the same setup, and almost every car over the last past couple years, I've had like the same setup, and it, it just it um it really pissed me off, and it rubbed me the wrong way you know because he just like he was a he was an asshole i'm gonna tell you the truth the dude was an asshole he wanted to be rude and, and he just wanted to try to be like you know like he didn't give a shit about his customers or anything number one oh my mouth is dry but i feel like most people need to learn how to talk to people how to handle their customers you ain't gonna be in business long if you don't know customer service Make your customers feel like, you know, they're respected. Like, you know, like you appreciate their business. It doesn't make any damn sense to me how people just, they don't know how to talk to people. How the hell are you going to be in business and you don't know how to talk to people? Your business won't last long if you don't got good customer service skills. It makes no sense. Number one, in business, you got to know how to talk to people. You got to know customer service. If you don't make your customers feel important and respected, they asses ain't coming back. That's something I had to learn, you know, running running my own business and stuff. You got to learn how to talk to people. You know, you can't you can't be an asshole. And you can't leave him hanging. He left me hanging last night, man. And we was talking and, and, and like we was just, you know, back and forth just talking. I'm not going to lie. It was hella late. It was like, I think it was like 1.30, 1.30 in the morning. Well, this morning, it was like 1.30 in the morning. And like, you know, he I wrote him and he just wrote back, you know? Okay, so, um, I hope this is recording. Let me make sure. Okay, I think I found a, I think I found a shop. I'm about to go over there right now and see. I'm gonna go over there right now and see if they can do it, man, for basically my budget. <laughs> If they can't, then I, I, it's on to the next, man. We're just going to be hunting down shops today. That's what we're doing. So, y'all get ready for a ride. You know, um, yeah, y'all roll with me today, man. Come on, now. It's Base Chronicles, man. Let's okay, this. so uh, I seem to have found a shop. They said they're going to take care of it. Um, it's a little bit out of my price range, but uh, what I was shooting for. But, yeah, what I was shooting for was probably unrealistic in this situation. Um... Yeah, man. Um, well, they got the car. It's in there. So I'm just waiting on the call now. Um, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm a little excited. Not a little excited. I'm a lot excited. 
because this is a big deal to me, you know? I mean, like, come on now. It's that time. It's, it's, it's almost time to hear some banging and some booming, y'all. This is uh, Base Chronicles, man. Um, so, I guess I'll be seeing y'all in a little bit, and we'll see, like, you know, we're going to see some some wiring. We're going to see some radio. We're going we're gonna to see what happens, man. Um, <laughs> I'm happy, y'all. I finally found a shop. They said they got it, so it's on. Okay, so... <laughs> Here I am walking home. <laughs> That's the only part about doing a stereo install and dropping your car off at the shop, you know. Um, you gotta walk home. <laughs> but uh, he said he's gonna take care of it fast as possible, you know, so I'm really not, I'm really not bugging off it. But it does suck, you know, having a walk home. <laughs> I'm nothing but, I'm like, it, it's, I'm like a mile and a half away from home, so. Yeah, it's, it's, not even, it's not even that bad, you know. A lot of people would have been like, oh, man, I, I, I don't want to walk home. And they would have called an Uber. And I'm not I'm not calling no damn Uber. Uh-uh. I'm not calling an Uber. Why? Because I am cheap. And I just basically blew my budget. <laughs> the, uh, well, okay. Now, my budget was, remember I was saying like 140 I was saying like 140, and it's it's actually not not much higher. You feel me? It's not. It's a couple more dollars because I didn't have a couple things that I that I didn't know I needed. You know, I, I missed a couple things, and they told me, okay, you needed this and this little stuff, but don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm just uh, ready to see that uh, Android in that dash. <laughs> I never had one before, and it's just interesting. I, I really like Android style, and I just like it. It just looks real user-friendly, and it makes everything just pop. It makes stuff look interesting. So, I'm walking home right now. <laughs> I'm on my way home to wire up the subs and get the subs ready for when he wires the, uh, when he runs the wires and everything. Basically, it's already ready, so, yeah. Like, two guys was in a parking lot, so I'm sitting there, and I'm talking to these guys, and they telling me, like, you know, what happened to their cars and stuff, like, because, like, they, they saying that the people at the shop did something wrong, and I'm like, okay, well, what, what did they do wrong, and he was like, oh, man, they ran my wires wrong, and my headlights don't cut on, <laughs> he was telling me, he was like, yeah, my headlights don't cut on now, man, I don't know what they did, and I'm like, Okay, I don't know if that's the right shop for me to be at because uh, these guys sitting up here telling me some shit that went wrong with their cars. So I'm kind of, I kind of start panicking at that point. I said, okay, now look, this is the thing about car audio shops. If they mess up your car, they gotta fix it. Okay, they have insurance. That's what the insurance is for. Pretty much, they have insurance. And their insurance covers jobs that go bad. So if something go wrong with your car at an audio shop, they have to fix it. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing about it. Like, they have to fix it. I'm not tripping off of, you know, off the other stuff. I just want to be covered, you know, because when, when you get car audio stuff in your car, you know, something go wrong, you want to be covered. You don't, you don't want... To not be able to get it fixed, you know. So, ooh. oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, so I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get my little walk in. My mouth is dry as hell right now. I bought a little bit of water. I didn't bring enough. I'm not gonna lie. I did not bring enough water. I did not bring enough water. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get my ass to the house now. Cause I'm hot okay. and my mouth is dry as sandpaper. Here's I an update. Be. Um, okay, I got the radio installed and everything. They ran my amp wires and everything. Uh, bad news. Um, it turns out that the radio has a, it, it doesn't put out any audio. It really does suck, bro. I went up, I, I, I was expecting to be bumping, driving back. You know, I was expecting, I mean, it looks, I'm not going to lie, it looks beautiful. 
<laughs> it looks beautiful. All right, let's let's get a look at it. But I, I put a return in for a, for another unit, so they shipped me out another unit, man. And I'm waiting to to get that unit so I can have them pop this one in. But you guys get to check it out to at least see what it looks like. Hold on. I want to cut it on for you guys. I mean, the thing looks nice. I'm not going to lie, but it sucks, man, that I got to have it pulled back out and send this one back and then put another one in. I mean, it, it is what it is. Like, I bought a used radio, and this is what happened when you buy a used radio. But here it go. You guys can check it out and see at least what it looked like. Well, yeah. I mean, dang, this is kind of weird because I'm trying to do it on my front camera. But, yeah. This is what it looks like. Um, it's an Android radio. What can I say? Um, yeah. I mean, you can go here, scroll, and it's, it's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. It's perfect. The only damn problem is the radio doesn't output audio. It has no audio. I'm pissed. I'm not going to lie. I'm pissed. And it, it really does suck, you know, to have to. I mean, I walked. I walked at least two miles, man. <laughs> I got me a good workout in. I think this was life just kicking my ass for, you know, all the time that I did not work out. And I, I just, you know, was, I've been chilling. I've been relaxing for some time, you know, and I think life caught up with me today. I sweat my ass off. I got a good mile in. But that's the radio, man. I put a return in. I'm waiting on them to send me a new one. So this is episode of... This is episode three of Base Chronicles. This sucks. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. I was expecting something, though. It's always something. I'll see you guys on episode four of Base Chronicles. This is your boy, Dominique, signing out, man. Shit.